here synchronization is one of the main functionality of this uh, session layer if you see that synchronization <coughs> suppose means simply it will maintain the checkpoint assume that you have that 10 gb data to download from the server if you want to download 10 gb data right so be, without synchronization how it will run let us see first so suppose you downloaded 2 gb data initially then assume that due to the connection problem or any outside problem you are not able to download that means you lose the connection simply so after that you need to establish the connection and you started downloading from first by first byte onwards means you are downloading total complete once again so now if you downloaded 4 gb once again same thing is happen due to the connection problem you lost it if you see in this case only 2 gb is downloaded comparatively here it's less even you can start from initial onwards it's not a big problem but here 4 gb it is downloaded so once again whenever you get the connection next time you have to start downloading from first byte onwards almost you downloaded 50 percent of the total downloaded download file but uh, due to this problem you starting from initial onwards okay this is also sometimes bearable comparatively card situation suppose you downloaded 9 gb data means you downloaded the file almost all so in this situation you lost the connection so what is the solution so according to this without synchronization you are going to download the file one time means you are going to download entire file okay there is no guarantee that then you will get this data okay when you will complete this one means you should not get any uh, any kind of uh, losing the connection in between so with synchronization it will maintain checkpoints let us take in this case if you consider same case assume that for every 2 gb you keep a checkpoint means after every unit of uh, this data means after downloading 2 gb data it will put the checkpoints up to there means like you see here after downloading 2 gb it will put 2 gb uh, it will put one checkpoint here okay checkpoint one and then it is continuing to download next assume that at 3 gb if it is lose the connection then next time when you got the connection at that time it is not going to download the data from first byte onwards it is starting from 2 gb onwards because it is kept the last checkpoint means last checkpoint it will take suppose if you come to the second case after downloading 2 gb here checkpoint 1 at 4 gb checkpoint 2 it will keep then assume that it is continuing but after downloading some amount of data after this checkpoint assume uh, 4.5 gb it is downloaded now due to now connection is lost so in this situation it is going to download the data from checkpoint 2 onwards okay so this is the case even if you come to this case even after 8 gb 9 gb if you lose the connection but uh, at 8 GB you have the checkpoint right because at 2 GB, 4 GB, 6 GB then 8 GB you have the checkpoints so it will take the last checkpoint so checkpoint uh, at 8 GB it will take then onwards it will download the data so even uh, you are losing the connection in between but uh, after some time you are able to get the total file so this is that's why you need to maintain the checkpoints that, uh, that you are calling as a synchronization here. So that is the one of the functionality of this session layer.